Welcome to JRA Beauty Hub, your one-stop shop for beauty, style, and luxury. Hi, welcome to JRA Beauty Hub, and I'm here to help you look and feel amazing every day. From top quality hair care to the best beauty essential, we've got you covered. And that's not all. Complete your look with our collection of luxurious shoes and designer bags. At JRA Beauty Hub, you're not just a customer, you're family. I'm sure you love the video you just watched and you're wondering, how can I create my own heart with consistent characters in my videos? All right, let's go. I show you how you can create consistent characters in your ad videos with Google VO3. Now, ensure you watch this video to the end because if you don't watch it to the end, you won't be able to create to generate consistent characters in your videos with Google VO3. Let's go. Okay, so now I want to create the ad script. So I will go to charge, go back to charge because I will create a detailed script and it seems to generate an ad for the business. So the name of the business and the services they rendered, right? So I'll just say for the business. Mm, three. So let's go. Let's see. Let's see. So for, for, for every prompt that you give, for everything that you want to create, you must be very detailed with your prompt, right? You have to be very detailed. So that's one thing that um that helps you get the right results that you need with your um with your product. With sorry, with your generation. So ChatGPT has given us a detailed like a de <coughs> a detailed script for the heart right so now let's go back to so now this this script is what we are going to use. so you copy the script take it to we're going to take it to google Hard. google doc then on google doc you edit it to what you want then we now take it to flow to create the video so let me copy this and take it to my google docs so you have to create so if you want to create a clear ad right you have to create um you create it scene by scene so google video 3 creates only eight seconds video Eight seconds video per time so now if we are creating this thing we, we want something like this, about 30 seconds that means you have to create different things for you so that means we'll have to create um about um 18 30 so we have to be like four four to five scenes to be able to get a 30 seconds video so now what you do is you create you have to understand the flow of the heart so how do you want the ad to go now um chatgpt has given us the prompt but you have to create the so following chatgpt short it gives me the short how i want it to be the scenes and all that but then what what how do i want the short to be so the first thing i want is the entrance of the shop first that's the short one that's the exterior and sign so you have to create it each um shot by shot that's the first one so you create the shot the first one you create the second shot you create the third shot you create the fourth shot and the fifth shot right so what you have to do is you you get that's why you have to take your prompt from chat gpt to your google docs so that you can create this flow so that you create it for so that means you have six videos to create right now so your flow you have to flow so the first point is you are creating the entrance of the shop so you have to get all the prompts you need to create that first entrance so that's what i want copy i copy the prompt for the shots then i take it to to my google docs to put it together so i put each shot what i want to see in each of the shots and what i i would like google video to see in each of the shots we'll put it together then we'll create the video so let's so first to create the owner of the shop we have to copy that first prompt you know that we uploaded the image of the owner and he gave us a prompt so we have to copy that first prompt that describes the owner so we copy we just copy this one. Copy that the e prompt that I gave you to create the owner in the full shop. Uh, so at the every place where is the, the, the short mentioned the owner, you copy the script that describes the owner to post to paste at that place. So at the point at any scene where the owner is mentioned, for you to have a consistent image of the owner, you have to copy the script that the, that prompt that gave us that detail prompt that we got from ChatGPT that describes the owner, you copy it and paste at that place where there's the owner, so you can have a consistent image of the owner, right? All right, so let's. Go. I hope you're getting value from this video. This is where you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe button so other people can get to see this video and learn from it. So all our same prompts are ready. Now let's get to. Google VO3 and start creating. So the first thing we create is the first thing. So to copy from here. Copy. Now let's go to Google VO3. So still just click on Google FX. 
Google FX. Then, so we are not using risk this time. So for you to be able to use Google VO3, you can register, you can get that free 30 days, right? You can get 30 days for free before you subscribe. So with that 30 days, they will give you 1,000 credits. For you, you have, you can create 100 videos for free. I think it's 1,000 credits or 100 videos. But you shall have 30 days free to create any video that you want to create, right? So now, next, right? You click on this arrow, this arrow, this where you see image effects, you see flow, click on flow. It's loading. Now, when we get to flow, you now click on new project, new project. Now, when you get to new project, you come here first. When you get here, it's not to type in your prompt first. Sorry, that was a mistake. You're supposed to change because this VO2, it's this VO2 fast, right? It will not, it will not come with any voice or any voiceover. So when you get here, let me show you. Click on this thing. When you get to, to flow, immediately you get to flow. Click on this thing that I circled, this menu bar that I circled. When you get there, when you click on it, and here you see this letter, you see, VO2 first. You click on the arrow down. We are going to click VO3 text to video, but that's the one that comes with audio. This VO3 text to video, that's the one that will come with audio. So if you don't use this VO3, and fastest to audio you will not get any audio you can get um you will not get audio on your visuals so so that was the mistake i made so you have to click on this first so i'll click on it now it has changed can you see that it has changed right and my output is one my output per prompt is one so let's say that first one that i created can you see but it doesn't come with video with any audio it just came with a um text like um, a text over right so i can still download it i can still use it just original set but then i want it to have a voice over so because i want it to have a voice over i will regenerate it so that that's 20 credits gone on. all right so i'll put it so the voice so you can see here i say voice over then there's supposed to be a soft orbit music start so without putting it on that uh, vo3 it will not give me the audio so now i want the audio to come with it so just go and we we'll wait for it to generate our video so you now see the difference between VO2 and VO3. Okay, so let's see the output. Welcome to JRA Beauty Hub, your one-stop shop for beauty, style, and luxury. Can you see the difference? So this one again with the voiceover. So that's the difference between using VO2 and using VO3. I hope we get that. So anytime you want to have a voiceover or you would like to have um, a, mu a soft music read from your heart, ensure you put that VO3. Good. Now let's create the next to create your next thing, just go back to your doc, Google Doc. Create the next thing. What's your next thing? That's why it's important that you create that flow first before you start creating. So it's easier for you. No, so no. The next thing is meet the owner. We now want to meet the owner. So you just copy. Copy the next thing. Everything you want. Everything you want to describe the owner. You have described the owner. And she says, and sure you put she says directly to the camera. Hi, what do you want the owner to say? Just, so just copy. Let's go back to our flow. And here, you paste. So it has started creating. So because I already put it on VO3, automatically it will just be on that VO3 to continue and I will get my voiceovers. So let's wait for it to finish creating and I'll show you what I have. Welcome to JRA Beauty Hub and I'm here to help you look and feel amazing every day. Hi, welcome to JRA Beauty Hub and I'm here to help you look and feel amazing every day. So we, are, we have that. We now go to the next thing. Just download it and go to the next thing. Excellent. Can you see that? I still have the same Beauty image. Hub, you're not just a customer. I still have the same image and the face of the first owner that I created, right? That was because while I was putting in this prompt, I ensured I also put the same prompt I used in created the owner to create this scene. That is very important. If you want to have a consistent image, that is very important, right? So it's important that if you want to have a consistent image on your heart, you must ensure you always pick the detail prompt used to create the person at first. Put it in every scene that you want the person to show. So you can have that person created consistently. I hope we get that. So now after creating uh, of all the videos, Your family. all I'll do is just um, edit it, join the videos together. I can use u cuts. I can use in shots. Now I'm scared to use cap cuts because of their new policies and all that. So you can use in shots or u cuts 
to edit the videos and put them I'm sure you got value from this amazing tutorial that i just did for you so thank you very much don't forget to like to subscribe and to comment if you have any other video you love me to share to create and show you how to do it thank you